Oh, that was loud. <clears throat> Welcome. I want to get a video out, like, just, like, to be honest, I want to get a video out, like, that, to be honest. So, uh, I'm going to do something. I might as well do something shameless as a tier list, especially a Pokemon tier list. Don't kill me for this. Let's just start. So, before we even do anything, let's just, uh, let's just, uh, yeah, yeah, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the worst Pokemon games in the entire franchise. I don't even have to elaborate. That's just fact. They're God, the, they're awful. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are the worst games. I've also never played XD, so uh, we're not gonna count that. Or any of the game, any of the GameCube games I've never played, so we're not gonna count those. So let's actually start now. Uh, the worst Pokemon games that are not Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are definitely the are those games. Johto, the Johto games, Gen Two, bad, really bad. I can get into a whole like rant about it, and I probably will in a future video. But just know that Gen Two, just overall, is just awful. It's just abysmal to play. They are the worst Pokemon. It's the worst Pokemon generation, I think, by far. And you know why? Because I rather I would, and you know what? I would rather play Red, Blue, and Yellow over this game, over these two. Yeah. It's just Gen 2 is so bad. I can do a whole rant about it right now, but I'll save that for another video. It's just garbage. Let's actually move it on to C tier. C tier, I would say, this is like the middle tier. The Let's Go games are... They're okay. Nothing special. They're just there, kind of, to be honest. I don't like to play them, but they're inoffensive to me. They're there. They exist. And the same goes for Fire Red. I never played Fire Red, but I know I've heard it's good. That's all. Uh, I think we're good for this here. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I didn't play much of Hoenn either, to be honest. But honestly, I've played some of... Okay, a little bit. I'm contradicting myself, but I've played a bit of Hoenn. It's actually pretty good. Emerald, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald are actually really good games. Not A, maybe like low A tier for Emerald, but Ruby and Sapphire are pretty good too. They're they're pretty nice, you know. You got the whole joke of too much water with uh, with oh god I can't with, with Oras. I'll do that later. But you got the whole joke of too much water, and yeah, it's a little bit too much water. You're always gonna need like a Pokemon that knows Surf and everything, but that's just a natural for Pokemon, ain't it? Uh, oh sh. Diamond and Pearl. I hate Diamond and Pearl. I hate Diamond and Pearl so much. Like, it's so bad. Diamond and Pearl is awful to play. I can't, I've never beaten Diamond and Pearl. I never have the urge to play Diamond and Pearl. And that's because Platinum exists. It's Platinum. It's Platinum. Platinum improves on Diamond and Pearl just every single way. It's the best way to play Joe. It's the best way to play Sinnoh. It's the best way to play a Gen 4 game. Gen 4 is carried by Platinum itself. If Platinum didn't exist, Gen 4 would be my least favorite generation. Because Diamond and Pearl exists and Heart Gold Soul Silver exists. I'll get into Heart Gold Silver right now. But Platinum is just the best game. Bar none. Heart Gold Soul Silver go into. They go into C tier. They go seat here. They're fine. No, they're not even. No, they're not fine. To be honest, to me, I no. They're going to D. High, high D. High D. They're not even fine to me. I have so much problems with Johto itself that just brings Gen Two and Heart Gold Soul Silver down a lot. Johto just needs a lot of fixing, and I hope one day they can go to fix it. That's what I'm asking. I hope. I hope. I don't know. They're gonna stay there for now. Black and white, really good games. I played black and white I know people a lot of people like black and white it's also, it is one of the best games in the franchise it's got a really good story really good decks uh, good po good new Pokemon or really amazing new Pokemon really no it's good it's good black and white 2 godsend godsend of a Pokemon game another another the DS Pokemon games besides uh, you and you were honestly bangers bangers gen 5 was a banger itself probably my second favorite generation 
X and Y. I think it'll be. They're they're a B, I guess. They're fine. They're enjoyable for the most part. They gave us megas. Megas are really good. Everybody loves megas. You literally cannot like mega. You can really you cannot not like megas. Uh, Oras, Oras. They get an A tier for me. Honestly, they get an A tier for me. They're fine. They're good. I like them. I honestly like them. I didn't like them. I didn't, when I first played through it, I didn't like it. But going through a recent playthrough recently, I actually I enjoyed my time with it. I liked the uh, the Pokemon selections that are there, especially with the the end part where after you do the whole story with Kyogre slash Groudon, you can like the ecosystem expands and all different Pokemon from different regions come in. And you can get them. That's really cool. I like that. That's a good addition to the to the classic Gen three games. It's a good remake, except for the fact that there's no Battle Frontier and like they teased it or something. Uh, if I can get a picture of it, I'll, I'll pull it up right here. But yeah, that's like the only downside I think. Sun and Moon. It's the Pokemon game that got me into Pokemon. It's the game that got me fully introduced to Pokemon, to be honest. Well, I first started playing back in Fire Red Leaf Green, but I don't remember my time with it. Then I played X and Y. I still barely played it. But then Sun and Moon. Then I played Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon got me addicted to the Pokemon franchise itself, so I have a lot to owe for it. That's why it's an S tier. It's probably one of my second favorite game. It used to be my favorite, but then Platinum. It's it's a good game. I know people consider Ultra Moon better, but I honestly prefer I prefer Sun and Moon better than Ultra Moon, mostly because like story beats and all that. Because Lucamine and Sun and Moon is way way more just that. And in Ultra Moon, they nerfed her and Lily just like a lot, which sucks. So I rather prefer playing Sun and Moon than Ultra Moon, even though Ultra Moon does have Ultra Necrozma, which is probably one of the best boss fights in all of Pokemon. Now. Controversial game, the tree game, the game that has like the the, the stupid tree that everybody hates. Honestly, <coughs> sorry, honestly, I like I like Sword and Shield. I like it. It has good competitive Pokemon. It's got good new Pokemon. It's got a, it had a good playthrough. I had a good time playing through it. Uh, the competitive is really good. I said it already. The Wild Area is a good introduction to the like you know how in Scarlet and Violet it's an open world game now. It's kind of like a first attempt at an open world it's an attempt and Legend Arceus improves on that attempt so much like oh my god Legend Arceus is incredible like damn I don't know how they made this game so good and I keep and I hope they keep going with it because it's just it's so good it's Legend Arceus is one of the best Pokemon games I've played in my life and I've played almost all of them and it's so damn good. Like I honestly keep going back to it every now and then. Like it's easy shiny hunting. It had a good story. Had a good story. Easy shiny hunting. The Hisuian forms are amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorite games. I actually look, there we go. Better. Nothing beats Platinum though. Platinum is just <coughs> Platinum is Platinum. You can't beat Platinum. All right. A uh, quick video. I just wanted to make a quick video, and by quick video I mean a whole eight-minute video. Great. Okay. I'll see you next time then. Goodbye.